Welcome back to another beautiful day in Mental Health Awareness Month. And something that I personally feel can benefit all of our mental health is learning how to fail forward, all right? We make mistakes, we pick ourselves back up, and we move on forward because life is always throwing stuff at us. And somebody who has done an excellent job, an excellent job of failing forward is none other than Tana Mojo. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I try to take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them because what good, what good is watching YouTube or even TV or movie or the news if we can't see, somehow see how to better our own lives? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And since it is Mental Health Awareness Month, those of you who know me, I am somebody who is very passionate about mental health and I've written a few books about my own mental health journey. So I have actually just packaged three of my books into a little bundle. Um, my book, Hope, about how I overcame depression, anxiety, and addiction. My book, Caught in the Crossfire, which is a book to anybody out there who has a loved one who is struggling with addiction. It is about how to take care of your own mental health during this type of situation. And my most recent book, Rewire Your, Your Anger. So all three of these books are bundled together. So you get three eBooks as well as an audio copy of Rewire Your Anger. And it's all for $12.99. So if you wanna get that, check out the link in the description down below. All right, but anyways, yeah, this is something that's been on my mind lately. Something that's been on my mind is Tana Mojo. One of the reasons is because there's just been a lot of news around, you know, her breakup with Brad and everything like that. But it's been almost a year. It's been almost a year since TanaCon. Oh, ho, 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 how do we remember TanaCon still? Because it was a gigantic, uh, I hate to use this word, but it was a failure, right? So those of you who aren't familiar with TanaCon, it happened last year during the same time as VidCon, and it was it was created out of spite on Tana's part, all right? Um, she was upset with VidCon and how they treated their creators, so she wanted to make something bigger, better. While there were some in good intentions, it started out of a place of spite and revenge, right? But anyways, Shane Dawson ended up having to do a series on it because TanaCon ended up flopping, all right? It got canceled, um, way too many people showed up, there was a whole, whole, whole ordeal. But chances are, if you're watching this video, you know about TanaCon. So anyways, looking at Tana Mojo and just where she's been in the last year, like this girl is still killing it, right? She's somebody who vocalizes how she hates cancel culture, which I can't help but agree with. But anyways, she has done many things since then and a lot of things just within the last six months alone so for a lot of people look at TanaCon like just to step back for just one minute and imagine you were Tana and this situation happened while there were you know issues with Michael Weist and uh his whole organization but just imagine your name was on this thing and it flopped like what would you do how many people out there would just give up but Tana took a little time off and she just went back to making videos but since she's come back over the last year, a ton, a ton of opportunities have presented themselves. I remember it was just what, like a month ago or so, she announced that her and Rihanna were like collaborating on like a, a fashion project. Like what? Like Rihanna is pretty damn mainstream. Like that is crazy for a YouTuber. And what was most recently announced is that for the last nine months, Tana Mojo has been filming with MTV and she has her own reality show, all right? So like, I I don't, like I do wanna put out a disclaimer, I don't think Tana Mojo is the best role model and example out there, but with any situation that we come across in our life, I think it's important, important that we look at them and see what we can learn, what value can we gain from this? What can we see is happening and say, okay, how does that apply to my own life? And I wanna make this video because I know a lot of you out there, like, probably within the last year yourself, something has happened. Something has happened to you that has made you depressed or has made you wanna give up or anything like that. And we need to look at what's happening with these other people in you know, pop culture or the news or whatever it is, or even the, the people in our lives and see how we can get inspired by that. Like for me personally, 
I have had a rough life. All right, like things have been rough. Like I was the son of an alcoholic mother. I ended up developing an addiction myself. I've been clean for almost seven years now and my mom has been sober, but like my first year sober was one of the most difficult things in my life. I lost everything. Not only did I lose my job, my truck, my apartment, my money, my friends, my family, but I also wasn't even able to see my son. Like that was a bigger failure than 15 Tanacons, all right? But I pushed through that and then I started to build myself back up and it was a slow, slow, slow process. Like in the, the heat of all of that, when all that stuff was happening, when my entire world came crashing down and drugs and alcohol were the only solution that I knew, I wanted to give up. Like, what was the point? Like, I completely ruined my life by the age of 27 years old. And this is something that I try to tell everybody. Like, there's so many people out there where you are young, right? You're in your early 20s. Hell, you might even be in your 30s. And you're like, oh, well, I wasted all this time. What am I gonna do with my life now? Like, I want you to look at situations like Tana Mojo, like myself, and millions of other people where things have happened and it's just, it's just a, a jumping off point to start a new chapter of your own life. Right? Like, and I'm not sitting here to boast about myself or boast about Tana Mojo, but you have many, many, many examples of this in your own life. Like, one of the reasons I make these videos and bring in the topic of YouTubers or TV shows or movies or pop culture or whatever it is, is because these are real people. These are real people. Like, you might be looking at the Tana Mojo situation and be like, oh, well, she's rich, she's famous, she can do that, and da 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 da, right? But you guys, People are people, okay? At the end of the day, we are all human beings who have emotions. We all have the ability to either give up or to fail forward, right? And when it comes to failing forward, the best thing that we can do is not look at these situations in our lives as, as losses, but as lessons, right? Now, some of you out there might argue, like, how many lessons has Tana Mojo learned? Like, I choose to be an optimist about these types of things, okay? Like, do you hear Tana Mojo planning another TanaCon? No, so she obviously learned that it's probably not a good idea to try to run her own convention, and she learned a lot about that. And now she has that experience as well. If any other YouTuber or any other person wants to just start a convention at the magnitude that she did, she can learn from that. And that is another thing too. Like, a lot of people don't realize this. I used to be one of them uh, myself, but, we need to realize that everything that we've been through in our life, no matter how difficult, no matter how hard it was, we could take that experience and use it to benefit others. Like, Tana Mojo doesn't run around like talking about this stuff. She doesn't talk about how like, you know, she's, she's had these different failings or, you know, how she screwed up. Well, she did make a song about it, right? But like, look at the situation. Just look at that. Look at all the other people that you're watching on YouTube, right? But look at your own experience as well. How many difficulties and struggles have you been through in your own life that might be able to benefit others? You see what I mean? Like just to use myself as an example, I'm somebody who overcame a drug addiction and alcoholism, something that kills tens of thousands of people in the United States alone every single year. Now I can take my experience, talk to another drug addict or alcoholic and say, yo, I'm nothing special. If I can do it, you can do it too. Here's what I did, maybe it'll work for you. And that's something that I try to do on my channel. So think about your life and the struggles that you've been through. What can you do to teach people about the lessons that you've gone through, right? Like this is why we all need mentors. We all need mentors and I cannot stress this enough. Like the best way to go down the path that you want to go on is to walk in the footsteps of somebody who's already been down that path before. Hell, let's bring it back to Tana Mojo, right? She constantly admits that she is, you know, she's, she never wanted to do this to be a role model or anything like that, but she has inspired a lot of young women, a lot of young men who want to start out being a YouTuber, making videos on their, you know, in their bedroom or whatever it is. But the thing is that a lot of people fail to realize is if you want what they have, you got to do what they do, right? And no, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean in the context of Tana Mojo, like, do you know all of the failings but learn learn from those mistakes you see what i mean but more so look at the work the work ethic look at the determination most of all look at the perseverance right look at how 
she has never given up. Look at how other YouTubers have never given up. Look how long it took them to grow on this platform. And if you don't wanna be a YouTuber, look at you know, the career path that you wanna go down. Who has walked that journey before you? What can you learn from them? Ask these people, say, hey, do you have any tips for this journey that I'm going on? You know what I mean? So anyways, anyways, I would love to hear from all of you. What is something, what is a valuable life lesson that you've learned from some of your struggles that might be able to benefit somebody else? Let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you so much to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing here on the channel, get your name up on these credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, and you get free copies of my books, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. And don't forget, I have bundled all three of my books plus the audio book down in the link below, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.